What's up and welcome to Toy Gains episode 757. If you're any friend of the channel, you know that I really like Dungeons and Dragons, the retro toy line, the new toy line. In fact, War Duke, who's over there, was my figure of the year last year, which was a highly prestigious award. NECA was in Time Magazine because of it, and it really sent them through the stratosphere, you know? I love this toy line. I loved it as a kid, and to see one of my favorite action figures as a kid, uh, now as an adult, become one of my favorite lines to collect from NECA, one of my favorite toy companies. Very strange. Sometimes toy world things collide. However, this figure is not perfect. First hiccup this series has hit in my opinion, and it's kind of a big deal. Kind of, a, it's kind of soured the purchase, but not enough for me to not recommend it. We will get into that. But first, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'm trying to, trying to hit something, and I'm I have a master plan, and I'm going to reveal that at a later time as to why. It ain't about fucking selling shirts or merch. It's just to put it shortly. I want my opinions and our opinions to influence what these companies do. And you can only do that when you hit big numbers. So please like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And if you like the channel enough, tonight at 6 p.m., I will be on the Yo Joe Jerk channel for our Mega Powers podcast. Now let's get into this figure finally. Next, on Toy Games. Jeez, that was a lot of shit I said. Dungeons, mystery and magic seem real. There's good against evil with advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures. War Duke, Kellogg, Strongheart, and Bronze Dragon, each sold separately. Beware, Strongheart, you will cast an evil spell and steal the treasure. Yeah. Evil is no match for good. The treasure is safe. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons action figures, Kellogg, War Duke, Bronze Dragon, Strongheart, each sold separately from LJN. Here he is, Alcorn, in the flesh, just chilling. This was such a fun little figure to have. What, why he was so fun for me, you could fit this little guy in your pocket. And you can go to church, go to fucking school, pop him out, have a little adventure. No one would know. Go on car rides with you to the grocery store. He was my little, little homie. And... If you put them side to side with the old one, you can see NECA did a fantastic job making an old toy become new again. Unfortunately, I sold my D&D retro line. I said I never would, but I will get into that in a later. I have a whole video planned for retro toys. That's coming up next week. Back to this one. He come. This is the head that was in the box. Uh, the default head portrait. It's very nice, just him kind of chilling. Everything's punched in. They got a nice blue, dry, they got black base, blue dry brushing. They hit the gold on the beard when it's, it's braided. Everything looks really good. If I can get the hands, what I, what I, you know, hands are tricky. Sometimes, you know, he comes with a bunch of hands to grab everything. I hate when they're real hard and you can't get the item or the accessory in there, and then if they're too soft, the thing will fall out. So hands are tricky. Here he is with nothing in them. Little knife comes out of there. I don't want to freaking break it on camera. Pull a review spot. So he had, I love the little color of his pants. There's little laces in his, in his boots. A lot of nice little details. Do I have the Witcher figure it's handy? It's funny. I don't. I probably do somewhere. He kind of has Geralt's armor on. It's very funny. Looks like the Witcher. Uh, I thought I had that McFarlane Witcher somewhere. Anyway, I'm getting off topic as usual. Helmet looks great. The horns look great. He is Elkhorn after all. Um, little braid in the hair looks great, although it's not... Wait, I'm fucking wrong. It's articulated. Holy shit. And it pops out. And I thought I broke it. Look at the things you learn when you mess with your toy. That might be a factor. I will show you why. Because I'll show you the Achilles heel that really bothers me. 
Moving on, comes with a shield that's sculpted very much like the vintage toy. There's some nice like crack or dents in it where something is like striking it like a sword. That's cool. Comes with a hammer. Comes with a two-handed heavy axe. Comes with two-handed uh, heavy hammer. Comes with that little knife. Comes with all types of hands, all the hands you need, nothing reaching out though, nothing um, expressive, just different forms of like grabbing stuff, okay? Comes with a little, what what is this called? Tankard? What is this called? A little kegger of alcohol. This is called some, a, a growler? Yeah, a little growler of alcohol, which is cool. This torch, very nice. Uh, there's a lot of light on it right now. It's uh, not a lot of contrast though, it's kind of, just two colors. Needs a little bit more orange, but it does look good. And it goes in his hand. Everything goes in each hand very well. Very pops right in there. Bada boom. Um, this is a nice little nod to be dropping it. I don't know why they did this. The original toy did not come with this heart, but it reminds me of like a like Zelda heart, like for energy. That's really cool. That's just them having fun. And it comes with some like jewel. You know, dwarves love their jewels. He was, like, in a cave somewhere, and he found this. Original toy just came with the sword and his shield. Now, the backpack, this is the point where I'm going to get to. The backpack is just molded on the original figure. And they have a little nice little sidearm axe and a sword, which is what the original figure came with. And again, I'm stressed. Well, this will pop out. Stare at Elkhorn in all his glory as I try to... Okay, sword looks good. Little bedroll. The original toy, this was just like popped on his back. And as kids, we always lo would love when a figure would let you put things in places. And that was rare for toys back when we were kids. So this opens up. It's very stiff and you can fit some crap in there. Here is where the first crossroad the first misstep in the entire line is and that's with this backpack and it really is i i think i'm going to create a system for it and i'll show you when i saw this i thought i was like oh shit um if i can pull in stay with me stay with me if you remember when i talked about this predator figure the prey this is a magnet folks guys and gals that's a magnet very slick very fucking it makes you feel like you're you're holding a next level toy with some thought process okay i'm looking at this and i'm like oh shit that's a magnet that's a fucking magnet dude dude where's my magnet i thought it was gonna pop and it didn't i'm like is the magnet fucking broke and I was like, you know what? That isn't a magnet. This is supposed to slip onto here. The problem is this is skin effing tight. You couldn't fit a Nats dick through there, okay? I had to hold this with a flathead screwdriver to fit it over that, and then it broke this strap. I re had to re-glue it. I'm just not, go I'm not gonna do that. I just can't. The backpack will not go on. Then up there, if you put it on that lip, it's going to come in contact with that hair. Now, we just saw you could pop that hair off, but it's supposed to sit right there. What I think I am going to do is I'm going to buy a little tiny magnet from Michaels. I'm going to put a little magnet back there underneath that because I still have some room to get back there. I'm going to make this a fucking magnet. That's the way it should have been. You did it with your Prey figure, NECA, and it was slick and cool as shit. This is the same company. You all work under the same Ruth. Ruth? Jesus Christ. Same roof. Share the same philosophies throughout your toy lines. That's my only complaint. Because I thought that would have been so so slick to pop that on there. I'm telling you, you're going to break that strap as I did. And even if you do get it on, if you ever want to get it off again, it's a pain in the nuts. Not good design. That was that, This prey figure, brilliant design. That's my one... One gripe about this figure. Everything is sculpted well. A lot of detail. Paintwork is great. Accessories are great. It's a 9 out of 10. But the point that's missing is a big one. Because this is a real bummer to me. Let's see how he scales with some figures that make sense to this line. I'm not going to scale them with fucking wrestlers and Spider-Man. 
That shit is fucking dopey to me. I'm going to scale them with things that make sense. Ha, I knew I had that girl. This is a McFarlane girl of Rivia from The Witcher 3. You could see they share the same kind of leather and chainmail armor. Uh, they kind of look cool together. Next to a Mythic Legion. I forget this guy's name, so I call him Mr. Posable Knight. Mr. Bendy Knight. Um, make the ladies happy. Not bad. There he is next to a repainted Masterverse Battle Armor He-Man. And I do say I did a nice job on that using makeup. That's That black is freaking eyeshadow and somebody called me out and said that wouldn't stay on. I did that a year ago. So F you, buddy. That's why uh, we don't speak no more and you're off the channel. <laughs> just just saying. Guy used to bust my balls all the time. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. They scale nice together. I think he fits right in, even though he's a slight more realism. Here's like his older bearded, well, not older, but maybe a brother from another mother. <clears throat> Vulcan from Flash Gordon. Both NECA. And here he is with the rest of the D&D &D crew so far. As you can see, it is three to two, three good guys, two bad guys. That means the wizard must be next. And this line, I, I, I'm telling you, it's 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Not bad. The backpack really sours the overall purchase experience as I fumble my words. Overall, though, I really am impressed with this line. And, and the cool thing about this line, I, I've said this before, this isn't Ninja Turtles. This isn't He-Man. It's not Star Wars. This line had a run of only like 20 figures. And I don't think they're going to get into them deep dive weirdo figures. If we get 10 figures out of this, it'll feel like you completed something completed the line i only wish that instead of super seven getting the the cartoon figures which these are not from only these two appeared in the cartoon briefly i really wish neca got the rights to the the cartoon line i don't know why super seven got it and if you're curious real quick these do not look good with um they do not look good with the hasbro figures it's just a it's just too cartoony overall Alcorn gets a gain totally worth a purchase hope you enjoyed the show hope you watch tonight's show at 6 p.m take care have fun